Uh, my name is Yoichiro Miyake, uh, lead AI in this clinic. So uh, today's I will show the AI system of Final Fantasy XV. Uh, I have been a uh, game AI for 15, over 15 years, so uh, focus on the AAA title. Uh, today's uh, 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 today's uh, work is done by Strength AI Quad Team. It's, uh, uh, over 20 people are contributed to this work. So I will explain that. Uh, total work input in the games. So, but the detail is uh, uh, written in the Squenix uh, 5 article in the Game Air Pro. Please show that. So that today, I will show the overview of uh, Final Fantasy XV's AI technologies. Uh, at first, what is Final Fantasy XV? Uh, as you showed, is, uh, you played the game. So that's the reality based fantasy game, action RPG, and the car, body, nature. There's many, uh, in the nature, there's many monsters, and many characters. Is, that is very autonomous AI. So, uh, in the, the players uh, can travel well, with bodies uh, to fight uh, with the monsters and uh, uh, characters. At first, I will show the technical overview of game AIs of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Uh, the Our Grand Three Goals is making an autonomous AI in the Final Fantasy XV world and make one, one united uh, living world uh, of Final Fantasy XV. And making a unique user experience of Final Fantasy XV. Okay, at first, uh, I will the overview. A Final Fantasy AI system consists of three components, uh, such as meta AI, character AI, and navigation AI. Uh, meta AI, uh, sometimes called AI director, that is a control in the game progress uh, dynamically. For example, uh, allocating allocate enemies dynamically. Uh, next is character AI, that is brain of the characters, uh, as you know. And the last is navigation AI. The role is find the path, is find the best position to stand. By using three components of AI, we, make, we want to make the uh, unique user experience of Final Fantasy XV. At first, I will exchange meta AIs. Uh, meta AIs uh, called is uh, we write, uh, uh, explained in the Sims uh, uh, 2007 lectures. Uh, that is a little bit different uh, from the AI director. AI director is the main the counter the battle. The, Meta AI controls the whole situation of the game. So, for example, putting new object on the level or change the terrain dynamically, uh, such like. And adjusting the game world to the player's meta AI role. For example, uh, in the Final Fantasy XV, meta AI controls the body's behaviors. Uh, I will show the video. Uh, In that situation, the player not in the crisis uh, by the Garuda's attacks, so that the uh, two people uh, don't notice. Uh, but Meta AI is giving the order to help the not go to the enemies, so he goes to the between the monsters and not to help them, help break free. 
Like in that case, he's also not good fighting with enemies and uh, in, he's in crisis now. Uh, in this meta AI giving the order to help the enemies to attack the enemy. So uh, the role of meta AI is to make a good situation for the players. Without meta AI, that is a speech, make, makes a speech uh, situation. That is all three guys that help oh not to that the situation. Uh, we, to remove these, these situations, meta AI controls the uh, 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 character's behavior, uh, stopping the two, play, two NPCs' behavior and orders but only one player. Uh, that is the meta AI. Next is the character AI. Character AI has uh, intelligence, has body, and uh, deep relations. And intelligence and body is a big problem uh, for a character AI. At first, I will say animation system. Uh, this is animation branding trees. All node has uh, uh, animation data. Uh, this is a demonstration to make the, the branding brand trees of animations. So the animators make the branding trees of all animations. Uh, that is very complex. And in that situation, the, this ground up animation graph is, uh, is changes uh, depending on the player's behavior. And that is the basic animation graph that is very, very complex animation system. Animation graph. So challenge is, is uh, uh, how to unite the AI and animation layers. Uh, that there is no general uh, theory uh, between the, these two components. So I, we will put the uh, uh, one layer, uh, that is called meta AI intermediate layer between AI and animation. And that role is, is manage the various physical states uh, for uh, uh, any NPC's bodies. For example, uh, one character has many uh, body physical status. Uh, their status uh, exclusive each other. For example, uh, when the climbing, so the radars, uh, Nocto cannot uh, uh, take a soul. So uh, the designer is different. For example, AI graphs is decision making. That is a game designer. The body graph is the programmer's animation with animated. That is a three layers, different type of that. So the tool is, has, is uh, for each layer. For example, intelligence layer is AI graphs. That is uh, a tool for making the decision making system. Uh, next layer, body layer, that is, is uh, 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 defining the status of physical state of characters' bodies. And last is animation graph that, as I explained, that is animator work to make brain trees. So, uh, for example, uh, this is a state uh, machine or body layers. Uh, decision making layer assigns the state uh, for each situation. So, uh, BS, uh, body graphs, uh, uh, be a body grass, uh, AI uh, layers, uh, contours, and the characters' bodies. So that is the next example. Uh, this is an uh, uh, animation layers uh, of this monster. And this is a decision making layers. Uh, that layer is a different type and the synchronizingly executing for each other. So I will explain uh, in this lecture uh, 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 to focus on the intelligent layers. Uh, introduction to decision making. Uh, what is intelligence? Uh, in, for the characters, uh, basically has a body. And next is input sensors and output action. That is fundamental uh, tech, uh, module of the, uh, of the uh, characters. So uh, I will uh, use the agent architecture that is uh, used in the robotics. At first, we separated the two worlds, environment world and intelligent worlds. The world is connected to the sensor and the effectors uh, to module. And inside the intelligent world, there are the three components, a recognition module and decision making module, at motion making module. <laughs> The information flows uh, via all modules. The information flow connects the two worlds, uh, such as the intelligent world, uh, environment world, uh, via sensor and effectors. So at first, I will explain the sensor's bodies. Uh, this is the uh, uh, sensoring region of, of uh, Gadula's monsters. Uh, when the enemies come into the fields, uh, uh, 
the system, uh, uh, the one ray casts uh, to the from gyra to the object. When the ray does not <coughs> collide uh, with any object, it means uh, this monster can see the, uh, the object, the enemies, and the enemies. Uh, that is uh, 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 seeing the meaning. And the <coughs> when the gyra is recognized, when the gyra uh, recognizes the many monsters, the uh, gyra must select is uh, one target to attack. So target selection rule is there's many. So that, that is condition it can be uh, control the, the these tools. Uh, the game designer can customize uh, how to select the enemy target uh, by customizing the many parameters. The next is decision making. Uh, in the game development, uh, mainly um, uh, main decision making algorithm, uh, seven algorithms, rule based, rule based, uh, set based, or behavior, and, and so on. In Final Fantasy XV, uh, we use uh, three top uh, algorithms rule based, state based, and behavior based. At first, I will explain. Uh, <coughs> rule based. Uh, Behemoth's uh, decision making is rule based. Uh, there's uh, many rules uh, listed up in here. So uh, when the, the condition is five years, uh, the, the line is uh, orange litis. So Gaula is uh, <coughs> controlled by that rule, uh, depending on the player's positions. So uh, depending on the positions, uh, uh, another different rules are fired in, on the list. That is rule based. Uh, next is based, behavior based. As you know, uh, behavior, be, behavior tree is the most popular algorithm for current uh, game development. So we develop the original tools of behavior trees. Uh, a game designer can behavior tools only by operating uh, mouse operations. Uh, next is state based. State based is the most simple algorithm for characters. The state has uh, 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 each state uh, has uh, uh, behaviors of characters uh, that the game and the status of a character changes uh, state, trans state transition happens uh, from this state to this state. Uh, but for more co complex games, uh, it is not enough. So a uh, state machine uh, becomes hierarchical. For example, this is, is the green is the top layer state machine. The one state has more smaller, smaller state machine uh, like this. So uh, in Squenix, uh, original state machine tools uh, are developed uh, uh, for Final Fantasy development. And but uh, uh, from now that this is a Squenix original AI system, uh, state machine is uh, good at steady control of state. Step by step, and behavior trees is good. Good at the adaptive behavior free entry. We want to use both good points. So uh, the idea is uh, we separate the presentation layer the project layers. The node in project layer shared in state machine and behavior trees, uh, but the presentation layer state machine business are different. So, uh, for example, uh, AI graph has a hierarchical layered architecture. For example, a uh, top layer is a state machine. Uh, one, the one state of the state machine has a behavior trees. And the state machines, uh, one of the state, uh, one of the leaf node of behavior trees has a state machines. Uh, game designer can make the uh, deeper and deeper hierarchical structure uh, as, they, as they want. So that has the extensivity and the scalability so to make the decision making graph. So that is an example of the Nihuru soldiers. Uh, the top layer uh, is uh, green, is uh, state machines. And one of the state machines has, a, has, a, has a behavior trees, so that's the second layer. And the third layer is the leaf node of behavior tree has a state machines. 
Uh, that's a cell uh, hierarchical system. One is state machine, baby are three in the state machines. And after all the process of lower levels are finished, the transition happens on the top layers. Uh, that is the uh, uh, operation of this system. I will, example, I will show the example of this system. Uh, this is a green with uh, uh, nickel high and salt green. Uh, this is the top layer on, on the blue, so that is the state machine. Uh, the red, red tray uh, has a baby at three. Uh, uh, green is active in all the currently executing uh, for this place, for this practice. Uh, and all the debugging uh, information are listed to, uh, to monitor the uh, character status inside. And AI graph has three functions, a black ball, parallel thinking, and overriding. At first, uh, I will explain the uh, black ball architectures. Black ball architecture has uh, memories uh, in here. So that is black, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the AI graphs, <coughs> AI graph uh, black ball uh, has the information uh, got from the senses. That the senses, uh, information got from senses uh, stored in the blackboard. The information can be used uh, from the AI graph inside. So the information uh, connected to the nodes, uh, that information can be used uh, inside uh, by connecting uh, these lines. So that is a blackboard architecture. Next is the parallel thinking. So for complex situation, it is not enough uh, uh, that the character is thinking one problem. Uh, in sometimes characters must think the two problems at the same time, so parallel thinking function is required. Uh, for example, in the state machine case, uh, we define the p stat. That is parallel stat. In, that, in this graph, the two, two, multi, two state machines can be executed. Uh, executed. Uh, for the BBA tree, the parallel nodes, uh, in the parallel nodes, the two nodes uh, are executed at the same time. Uh, that is a parallel thinking function. Well, that is an example. The green bit character is now shooting. Why should moving and shooting searches? New enemies around the party thinking function. That's really convenient uh, for a complex situation. Uh, last is overriding. Overriding is uh, for uh, to make uh, many many monsters AIs. We must make uh, many AI graphs for different monsters. So, but uh, many monsters has common logics basically. So uh, the override uh, functions uh, means uh, uh, the game designers can customize uh, one of the common logics uh, in any time. For example, this is the behemoth uh, over AI graphs. That is a common logic. Uh, but one state can customize for, uh, only for behemoth. That is the cut uh, AI graph. That is a common logic. So one of uh, states can be customized properly to the cut so overriding uh, function is very convenient to make the different AI graphs uh, dynamically. So that's the template, uh, overriding, overriding, multiple overriding is, uh, is uh, uh, giving the game designers uh, extending the AI graph at any time. So last is navigation AI. Navigation AI is very simple. Uh, at first, first finding system, uh, we use the ASTA algorithm. And uh, that is the navigation mesh. Uh, navigation mesh is a nightly build of all maps that is automatically is made from the collision model. And uh, by using navigation mesh, uh, this is connected to the gap of navigation mesh. So, uh, that is a gap in a complex uh, terrain. Uh, next is a point query system. Point query system is, uh, has a long history. Uh, that is a system to find the best position for a character's ability in a train in real time. Uh, for example, that is a three-phase. 
Uh, at first point generation phase, next is filtering phase, uh, the third is evaluation phase. For example, it's here, AI is here, there's bodies and the enemies, and at first distribute the point around the players. And filtering out is a useless point. For example, this is a lake, this is a pond, and this is enemy, this is body. So seven points remain. So uh, by picking up one point to be highest uh, uh, high, height uh, values, uh, and uh, uh, finally the one best point uh, to hold a player's uh, remains. That is point query system. Point query system can be customized by on, only by tool without the help of the engineers. Uh, game designers uh, can customize the value for a PQS system. Uh, that is uh, one example that the demonstration is. Uh, these monsters uh, can find uh, points uh, uh, the players and bodies cannot see. That's three points uh, uh, players cannot see. So, by using the PQS system, so any monsters uh, can go to the behind the players. Uh, this is, is uh, some example of this PQS system. That is the Nocto is here, so uh, filtering out uh, these points uh, uh, on the circle. Okay. Uh, finally, attacking position or uh, movement position for his. Uh, all PQS queries uh, information is stored uh, in the servers, so we can game developers see uh, the any time the statics of query variation. For example, uh, this query is, is uh, of, often called in many times. Okay, uh, next is <coughs> next is face-to-face -face conversation system. Uh, this system. Uh, is a system to find the positions uh, for the conversations. Uh, for example, prompt the find is the best position uh, to talk with Nocto uh, by, by PK system. For example, th this is a combination with three AI, meta AIs, character AI, ambition AIs. Meta AI orders uh, the, uh, to find a point in the characters uh, by using navigation system to find the best position. In this demo, uh, the prompt uh, will go to the position of the, uh, the uh, next side to, the, to talk with him. That is a face-to-face -face system. Uh, and the next is the steering system. Steering system, we use a human-like avoidance system. That is a very simple algorithm. Uh, the system distributes the ray casting in all directions to find the best direction to go, uh, to the goal. Uh, that is a result of this. Uh, each agent can avoid each other by human-like avoidance system. Uh, next is the motion analysis. Motion analysis system to learn the, the uh, monsters learn their motion by themselves. Uh, for example, uh, behemoth, that is behemoth training time. Uh, each different, different motion has different regions to, to, hit, hit, to be hit by the motions. Behemoth learns what motions uh, can reach, what regions uh, as like this. By using these data, uh, we make a, a rule-based system. Uh, this behemoth knows uh, his, uh, re the region uh, each, each, each motion reached. So by, by this information, the space information, uh, he knows uh, what motion should be executed uh, uh, to attack the knocked, to the knocked positions. Next is, is the character carving. So in highest, in, in high speed, the character cannot uh, uh, make the smooth curve uh, immediately. So depending on uh, the rotation radius, is, is depend, depend on, on the velocity. So in, it is also the we as uh, we have training of the carving of monsters. Uh, in the midnight, uh, they automatically the carving in time and time. In the mornings, uh, the, this graph is automatically generated. Uh, 
the vertical uh, horizontal axis is, is the actual speed. Uh, this is uh, rotation radius. Uh, by using these, these graphs, uh, monsters can know the best speed to curve uh, the path uh, by found generated by pathfinding system. Uh, next is the character conversation system. So uh, the scenario is not all, totally is not generated. The scenarios, many scenarios uh, for a conversation prepared by game developers, uh, but meta AI is the, the best scenario from, from them. And in that case, is, uh, uh, there's many conditions, depending on many conditions, uh, uh, the each scenario's evaluation uh, decides, uh, finally, the one scenario uh, pick up the, the file. And meta AI's control the attention of the talk, so that is uh, uh, in the conversations, uh, the attention point to move to the uh, speakers. Or uh, in that case, is the direction of, of the go to. Um, in more details, uh, the sun, uh, uh, we'll talk on Sunday the, in, in that way. Please uh, attend the lectures. Uh, Thursday, I'm sorry. And fine, finally, it's uh, ambient AI. This is the town people in, in, in the towns. So in that point, is, uh, we use a smart object. Smart object means uh, uh, which contains the object, has animation, air statements, everything to control the agent. Uh, in that case. But uh, we extend the smart object, smart location. Location has uh, uh, object and script emitters to control the agent. So uh, in that case, is, uh, this location has uh, intelligence to gather uh, two people and, uh, and controlling the by uh, GOAP planning system. And after three minutes, for example, uh, to that, that system calls a third person like this. So Stribis like system is uh, Jeff Orkin developed the go like system. Uh, this is a strip system for planning. Uh, game designers uh, write uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this script uh, for the actions, the preconditions, the RD conditions. So uh, by writing so many uh, these types, these knowledge representations, uh, data is uh, uh, more complex uh, situation can be made. For example, uh, the, these characters uh, are called the waiters uh, uh, after the conversations like this. So this is the XML uh, process and is compiled for binary data. And, and uh, finally, so when the players enter the town, the whole NPC characters behave as uh, like the humans, human town people, like this. Uh, at the last chapter is data logging and visualizations. It's uh, all inter game development, uh, all data of game status is stored uh, on the server. All data uh, immediately is, uh, can be visualized uh, for game developer to find the bug. That is, uh, as I said, queries. Uh, statics like this. Or uh, that is the statics of number of calling scenario. That scenario is uh, called orphanly. That is a heat map of animations. Uh, that uh, many animation, uh, that animation called in the regions. By using this, uh, we can uh, design the animation package for each region. The summaries. Uh, summaries, uh, this is, I will show the overview of the Final Fantasy and the original decision making is shown and basic is the source. Uh, this is the list of uh, the techni AI techniques uh, implemented in Final Fantasy XV. Uh, by accumulating the small AI techniques, we make the big business. Uh, this is the memory usage, uh, AI graph narration over 22. Uh, 20 megabytes. So more details are described in the game air pro three. Please show us. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we are hiring the AI engineer designers. Uh, if you are interested in our company, please contact us. Okay. Thank you.